22 years ago now. Um, I have a friend of a friend who knew of a farrier looking for a helper, and it's something that I've been kind of wanting to get into all through childhood, and it just it just worked out. I went to work for him a couple days a week, and it slowly turned into a, a five-year apprenticeship, and the rest is history. As a young farrier trying to, you know, to get business, obviously I was shooing just like a wide variety of different disciplines, types of horses. Um, at some point, you know, you kind of need to decide which direction you want to go to. And I, I always knew like therapeutic side, working on horses that were injured um, and trying to fix them and get them going is kind of really what I wanted to be. The interest of working on the therapeutic side, if you'd say, uh, came when I was younger, going to some of like the American Quarter Horse Congress in Ohio and watching the older guys that are retired now, some have passed away, watch, watching them work, like. It was amazing and I knew like I wanted to be that guy one day. And a few years ago, I really had to cut back on some business and I knew like I wanted to have a clinic of my own of some sort of haul in. And it just so happened to work out that here at Piedmont, you know, and it started out one day a week and you know, now it's two days a week. Day usually starts around 8.30. I get here, uh, go in the office, check the schedule. Um, that's when I meet with uh, one of the vets, that, you know, that are here, the surgeon. They kind of tell me what they got on the schedule of what they need done. And I just kind of got certain times blocked out throughout the day. Uh, it could be anything from working on just one foot, uh, doing like a hospital plate of some sort where they had to do like surgery on a foot just to protect the bottom of the foot building suspensory shoes. Um, that's one thing about being here is it, it's, it's different every day. You know, different seasons, whether it's, it's laminitis founder, uh, horse with white line disease, uh, fractured coffin bone. I mean, it's just, it, it, it really, it's different every day. So that's what I love about it. Having a horse that comes at a clinic for lameness and being diagnosed by one of the veterinarians or surgeon here, being able to take that horse and help it and, and see it progress when it comes back to me time and time again and then to never see it again, you know, is, is a big reward to, you know, hey, how's the horse doing and oh, it's fine, you know, so their farrier's taken over and everything's good. Um, it's shoeing horses traditionally going from barn to barn. I mean, I loved it, but I kind of always wanted to, I was always intrigued on seeing the older guys that I looked up to, watching them work on, on horses that, you know, had issues. And like, I knew I wanted to be that guy one day. And it's just the challenge, rewarding. It's, it's a learning experience every day. And I, I just, it's just where I want to be for the rest of my career. Being able to take a horse that has come here and send it off better than, than, it, than it was when it got here and just seeing them walk away sounder, that's not always the case, but um, you know, it's kind of what I really look, you know, shoot for.